Hello everybody, my name is Scrumptious Scott and welcome back to Nook and Cranny Gaming. We are back with Guacamele! As you remember last time, we were in the Quesa de Polo and we helped this guy put some uh, chickens away because apparently it didn't count as chickens at all. You know, they say don't count your chickens before they hatch. Well, he just didn't realize how much chickens one could have and uh, never a good idea. What's up? Pollo. Uh, I've been told that polo is actually a disease and pollo is the actual word. I've already said that in episode one, so it's already fucked. Snipperdoodle's in the scrump truck today hanging out. Um, I hope Santa Luchita is not under attack of his skeletons. You should hurry through the forest and see if the people are okay. I guess that's where we're going. To the forest! Wait, polo is a sport, not a disease. Polio is a disease. Definitely polio. Well, that's out there. Alright, whoa! Whoa, graveyard. Lovely music for a graveyard. <laughs> What's up, man, bro? You want the stuffs? Because I got the stuffs. Ability, costumes? Just walk it away. Abilities, what do we got? We got 295 pesos. Do pesos really use the same, like, dollar sign? Or is that just for our stupid American benefit? Or for my stupid American benefit, obviously. Oh, oh, I love the pink. A chicken! A polio luchador! Ooh, warrior's might. I like it. Diablo suit. That is awesome. Silver? I don't have any silver. We're going to just walk away. You go to the forest. Oh, I can use the right joystick to dash. Oops. There we go. Oh, it's just a waterfall. I was like, what is happening to reality? It's kind of bending in ways that I don't understand. Peace out! <laughs> Uppercut. Show you good! Alright. Going to the forest. I thought I could double jump. I thought last episode I was able to double jump. I think I'm just a dumb dumb and thought that, uh, like I accidentally landed on a ledge or something as I was trying to double jump. That may have actually happened. But you get back here. Yeah. It feels so good. The gameplay of this just feels so damn good. So comfortable and responsive. These jack wagons. They just, they just make me feel good about killing stuff. I like killing things. That's not right. I shouldn't say that on the internet. Alright, uh... No worse than the polio thing. So, there's this dirt bag. Is he, like, dashing around? Well, nobody will know. Oh, oh, he dodged me. And I dodged you. Your dick! He's a big old deadly skeleton dick. Stop right there, Luchador. Orders of Carlos Kalaka. I warn you, take one more step and it will be your demise. What's that? You want to know who I am? I mean, yeah. You seem like an honorable Luchador, so I will answer your question. My name is Yagrariaga. I was once human like you. You were human? In my youth, I lived and trained in these very woods. I became a mythical warrior, serving noble knights and leading great armies to victory. But that was a long time ago. Now I serve Kanaka. The final days of Earth are upon us. I suggest you turn home and spend them with the ones you love. Sorry about the epic pause. So stubborn, this one. Luchador, you saved the church. An admirable and heroic feat, but your journey ends here. It pains me to so unceremoniously dispatch a warrior such as yourself. But I keep stumbling over my words and can't say I didn't warn you. Jaguar magic! Oh my 
And there are all kinds of colored blocks. Jaguar, Yavia. I'm not gonna remember any of these voices I'm doing, by the by. I'm trying to. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my burst. I'm gonna do my burst. Hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. I went back and edited the first episode and... Piece of heart! And uh, realized that the game music, or belt of volume, was a little loud. Um, so I turned it down a little bit. Hopefully you can hear me better. There's a, there's a yellow thing. I'm glad that was coming because I was just running and jumping. Thank you, platform. I'm not even going to try to read Spanish anymore. Obviously terrible at it. Ooh, invisible platforms. I cannot afford anything. Get away from me. Hmm. Explore this whole screen here. Down A. Oh, I can't wall jump. Ow. What was up here? Just a little opening. Oh, not an opening at all. Never mind. Down A. I'm on Tumblr. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Full day for a long jump. Oh shit! Oops. There we go. Hey dude! Use left trigger or right to roll through spikes. It's awesome sauce. Uh, uh, that right stick thing is way better than the uh, than the left trigger. Well, except when I'm sucking it up. Cool, so I can dodge midair too. That was pretty cool. Like, they told me that I could dodge, but then they were like, here's an obstacle we did not tell you about, and then you have to kind of figure it out on your own. It's good. It's, it's, it's good gameplays. Oh boy. You did! Dodge, dodge. And you also have that guy. You like to throw stuff, huh? I like to throw stuff too. Oh yeah, and I can like ground. I can throw stuff ground too, right? Oh, well, the world may never know. An achievement! Hooray! Oh, you can't see that. I mean. What am I talking about? I'm not playing on Steam. Alright. My gamer senses tell me that there are things in the walls, but I haven't seen anything. There's a red block. Alright. Ow! I got hit. Can I roll past this one? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Those are Metroids! These are Metroids. Oh, he doesn't do the, like, bowing. He's just like, I'm ready to go! I'm gonna wreck it! But those are totally Metroids! It's a Metroid. There's a... Emperor's new groove. Nah, he was a llama, wasn't he? He wasn't a goat. What are you getting here, buddy? Huh? Nothing? Nothing of interest. Your master is a terrible person. Look me in the eyes and say that. And this is totally like a Chozo statue. <laughs> the goats can speak. What? You crazy luchador? Why you gotta grow, bro? Why you gotta go and break my Chozos? It's a Chozo statue. That's so adorable. He's only got 15 left. Here we go, Luchador! Hunt fast and ask questions later! Oh, he's much cuter as a goat. Behold! I'm the great Uachibo, lord of all men goats! They're a race. Warrior trainer extraordinaire and king of awkward punishments! I have a feeling I'll be going through one of those. Now, before we begin, tell me, is your mother single? Does she have a type? Does she like bad boys? 
that was a joke. Ahem, okay then, explain. Ooh, I accidentally skipped. Especially on how you got that mask. He wanted to know something. I told him. Calico the temple, blah blah blah, the past, dot dot dot. I'll just have to ask your mother after, after we save the world. We must train you in the arts of whatever, blah blah blah, the statue broke, the rooster's uppercut. Up and B. Perform this powerful move. Performed in the air. Use it too much, you'll tire yourself out for a while. I get tired, apparently. You work on that move, kiddo? Kid? Huh? Goat? Goat pun? If it didn't kill you, we'll continue your training next time we meet. That is a well cut slice of man, I tell you. So, this is not. That's a ground pound move, I suppose. What I have is a. Sure, you can! Oh, that's awesome. Art style. All the time, art style. That's neat. What are these directions in the walls? Sure, you can! Oh, that's a blue one. Up. Let's go left. Oh boy. Oh. I can use it in combat as well. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I missed. I missed twice. There is. My true enemy. here. No, I have an idea. Roll. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I wasn't sure if I was going to make that one. I'm not tired. I'm like Little Mac from Punch Out. Double uppercut. Knock standing enemies into the air for a combo. I see. So you can keep them in the air. Double May Cry style. Down. Yeah. How about a twofer? Yeah, there we go. I am awesome at the combos, you might say. Oh, pinata. Yeah! Oh, so that's where the silver comes from. So if your kid asks, they come from giant spikes and pinatas. It's a very popular subject on children's minds today, where the silver comes from. Trust me, I am one of those children. Okay, up the stairs. And throw you over there. So there's like these weird implausible map forms, these invisible platforms you might even say in English, in the real English. What do you got for me? A health chunk or a stamina chunk? I'm gonna go with stamina so I can do some more uppercuts. Oh, a chunk. Oh, like the, the heart piece that I got. Alright, alright, I'm down. I feel ya. Left trigger. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. Let's go for one. Two and the douche. Skip douche. There's more of them. There are a lot more of them. Holy snow. So good. Controls are so responsive. It's great. Santa Luchita. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, 
I don't remember my voice for this guy. Yes, Garrington just came running through town carrying some gale. They took her to the top of town and ran off toward the Temple of the West. This dear stole this mattress, blah, blah, blah. The dead have truly risen. I'm going to hide in the forest. It's safe there, right? Right? Oh, yeah, welcome to Santa Lucida. You look like you can handle yourself, Luchador. People of the town could really use your help. Don't be shy. You're a hero. It's what you do. Right? That guy is completely unsure of himself. Player Uno. That's me. Okay, and onward. Viva Pinatas. That sounds like a fantastic place. Is that Wario? No, it's not. Eh. Seems like a weird thing. Alright. Oh, there's all kinds of luchadors. Ooh! Like voguing luchadors over here. Creep. I was about to smash that guy, I guess he's been fighting everything I saw. The angry rooster, awesome sauce. That's what the rooster in the forest said. It's totally awesome sauce, bruh. I used to be a luchador. You reminded me of myself when I was your age. Uh, it's just a sad old man. No help on him. You? You okay, chicken? Are you okay? Ow. Team number one, Los Superhumanos. Rumor has it Kanaka and his minions come from the dead world. How can that be? I came from the dead world. I was dead in some place. I've just come from the farm with fresh cheese. Freshest in the whole land. Thanks. Thanks for that. Oh, that's a blue. Wait, was that like a Salvador Dali painting? <laughs> this is totally a Dali painting with sombreros. Sombreros. Mine forever, mining tools and supplies. Oh man, this is awesome. That's a mine, I think I'll stay out of there for now. Let's see. What else is in this place? It was horrible! A band of Escalitos! Escali Esqu Esquelitos? That's not right. Came storming through town, carrying some poor little girl with him. They were headed to the Temple of Rain up the hill west of town. Oops! I totally super punched a chicken. Is that an innuendo? I'm not sure. What's up here? Absolutely nothing. Ooh. Our Penquero de Benda has gone missing. Senor, you must help us find Portimador. Alright, so I gotta find... band members? I don't speak Spanish. Oh, it's Hagua de Javier. Oh, that's a dude. We cannot play any music for you until our band is whole again. Alright, so I need to... Oh, it's the O'Reilly really Owl. <laughs> Oh yeah, the one and only El Hero, the Link. Where do you think you're going? You trying to get yourself killed? You must seek out the great, noble, handsome, benevolent, wise, or irresistible snake slaying combo chicken. He's back in town. He can show you the skills you need to enter the temple. Oh, we must find Super Combo Chicken of Awesome. Well, we'll have to find the Super Combo Chicken of Awesome in the next episode of Guacamelee. Thank you for joining me. My name is Scrumptious Scott here with Nook and Cranny Gaming, and I will see you in the next episode.